Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Look, tamale in there. I don't know why I was so surprised about that. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, yellow! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas. And for the next 30 minutes, we'll show you Texas like you've never seen before. In the show, we'll stop and smell the lavender right here in Blanco. Then we'll head out to the state's capital for an intense and challenging rock climb. But for our first Lone Star destination, we're headed west of San Antonio to one of our absolute favorite places to get away. But on this trip, we're not just weekend tourists. Oh no, this time we're making a difference in Uvalde County. Take it away, Ariel. Welcome to Uvalde County. Now, like we said, we love it here and come up every chance we get to take a break from city life and experience some of the best of the great outdoors that Texas has to offer. And a big part of what makes this county so great is of course, it's three rivers. Whether you like swimming, snorkeling, tubing, or fishing, Uvalde County has you covered with the Frio, Nueces, and Savinal rivers. And an important part of what makes them so great is that they're so clean. And that's what brings us here today. Not only are we gonna float the river, but we're gonna help clean it. Welcome to the wonderful world of volunteerism. Tourism for a cause. Let's say you're the type of person who likes to volunteer, give back to your community, but you're also the type who likes to go away for the weekend and try something new. Well, that's the whole idea behind this new way to travel. Pretty cool, right? Well, to tell us a little bit more about what to expect, I met up with Annabelle McNew, Executive Director of the Texas Hill Country River Region. So Annabelle, thank you for meeting with us today. So what's on the agenda? What can a volunteerist expect from being out here at Uvalde County? Yeah, well, thanks for being here. So we've got the guys loading up tubes on Andy's cool bus, and we're gonna get everybody set up with some Yellow River trash bags, some trash grabbers, load up the bus, head to the drop-off point. Everybody's gonna float down and pick up trash along the way, and. Everybody tends to work up an appetite after a couple hours on the river picking up trash, so they like to set up a barbecue or a picnic, and uh, that's what we're going to do here today. So I also heard HEB is going to be out here, so there's probably going to be some really good food options, right? Yes, the best in Texas. The best in Texas. <laughs> so how many volunteers come out here and participate in this? So far this year, actually, we've had close to 200 volunteers, and they've picked up about 2,000 pounds of trash. So every volunteer gets $10 per hour they spend cleaning to donate to the charity of their choice. This year, we've been able to donate almost $5,000 to various charities. So what kind of groups come out here and volunteer? We've got all kinds of groups. So corporate groups from the San Antonio area, lots of um, religious organizations and family reunions from as far as Houston, professional organizations, social clubs, um, all kinds of things, or just a group of group of friends wanting to do some good. And this program is funded through the county by our small local hotel tax, and it's been a great deal. It's gotten really gotten people out cleaning the river and giving folks an opportunity to give back to the community and have some fun doing it. So even my hotel is contributing. Absolutely, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get my tube. Awesome. Let's head out. Our journey today would take us tubing down the scenic Frio River, taking in the sights and helping clean it as we went. Our first stop was to Andes on the River where we met up with a bunch of other volunteers and today's group were some of the fine folks from HEB who we tagged along with as they prepared for a day on the Frio. So we're excited to do this. I grew up on the Frio so I was happy to come help when I heard they had a thing going on. Just like anything, you want to enjoy nature, you want to enjoy the river. Uh, you know, the atmosphere that it brings, um, and of course we have to take, take care of the environment, um, so we have to clean it up. Thank you so much. Then it was time to head to the launch point <laughs> aboard the appropriately named Andy's Cool Bus. Ever have 
have the opportunity to come do this, you'll definitely show it. All right, we've arrived. I haven't been floating in a really long time, so we'll see how this goes. But it's all for a good cause, and that's what matters. After a quick rundown of what to expect, I got my tube and headed out. Cold. No wonder it's cold. It's cold for you. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. I don't want to make volunteering look too easy, but this is pretty relaxing. Ooh. And you just put it in here? Yep. Woo. We're all out here, we're floating and cleaning the river. All right, it's another point for me. Not just floating, but helping clean it. Yeah, picking up trash, making it beautiful again. Leave the earth better than how you found it. Look at everyone. I can get it in there. There we go. There we go. We're working. We're doing it. <laughs> We're cleaning the river. Don't trash where you splash, guys. Don't trash where you splash. Good deed for the day is done, y'all. Look at all this trash that I collected. You're welcome, Texas. So anyone is encouraged to come help clean up the river, but today it was just my luck that it was a group from HEB and you know they're bringing the goods, so let's go see what's cooking. From chicken fajitas to homemade salsa, this was one barbecue only HEB could put on. And of course, I saved a little room for dessert. I can't cut a piece of pie, but I can eat it. That was good. <laughs> Welcome back to Yolo, Texas. We are in Uvalde County where we're experiencing the world of volunteerism firsthand. We met up with a wonderful group from HEB, and then from there we started our adventure of making the Frio River just a little bit better and enjoyed a Texas-sized barbecue. And if it doesn't get any better, today's charity is the Humane Society of Uvalde. And you know, floating the river, volunteering, an HEB barbecue, and these guys, it couldn't get much better, right? Good? Yeah? <laughs> Valdi County and HEB for this wonderful donation. $1,040 will spay or neuter 14 to 15 Uvalde animals. Thank you. Next up, we met with Rebecca from HEB. We always go above and beyond for our customers and anything that we do. So this is just another way, way that we give back to our community just by picking up and providing the cleanest communities for our customers. Now, we couldn't come to Uvalde County without stopping at some of its finest shops and eateries. So first on the list was Josh's Rio River Outfitters. I think Yolo needs one of these for when we float the river next time. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's just so girly, I love it. Look how cute this is. The store is full of so many awesome things. <laughs> Can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. That's about as far as I know this all. <laughs> Gelato and lattes, some of my faves. I'll do the vanilla latte next. Yeah.
thank you. And I can take one of these crazy yeah. straws. Sweet. I'm gonna go with this blue one since I'm rocking blue and green today. <laughs> Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> Next was the legendary Frios Dry 50, which has some of the absolute most amazing t-shirts inspired by the Lone Star State. Never ever too early for Christmas time or the holidays. It's my favorite. It's my favorite time of year. Look, they have everything. Merry Christmas, y'all. It's Con Can, not Cancun. Alright, I'm pretty good at volunteering, but I'm even more fabulous at shopping. Guys, I think I found it. You just want to made my day. Because <laughs> I mean, my name is Ariel. <laughs> but I also really love the llamas. And when in doubt, you take both. And I told y'all I was great at shopping. It was then off to Uvalde County's newest ice cream shop, the Frio Float, a sugar lover's paradise. This place is so cute. Twice I've been in heaven today. We saw Christmas ornaments, and now we're seeing our favorite type of candy. And best believe, we're gonna leave with some jelly beans. What else we got? What else we got? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this isn't like an insane amount of candy for one person, but hey, it's okay. You only live once, right? What do you recommend to go with my giant bag of candy? I recommend the mint chocolate chip milkshake. It's pretty. pretty. It's pretty? Yeah, you it's sold pretty. me. At the Frio Float, customers can enjoy a variety of milkshakes and floats. Guys, y'all need to come out to Uvalde County. It's insane out here. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, great people, great places to visit. There you go. That looks delicious, y'all. Take a look. Take a look. And it matches my outfit. Thank you. <laughs> That's delicious. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much. After an eventful day, it was time to head back to my friends with HEB and finish up that barbecue. All right, so we are just about done here. Huge thank you to Uvalde County and HEB. I got to float the river while giving back to the community. I met some great people, had some fabulous food, got to play with puppies. I even got myself a new t-shirt. If you're looking for something new to do, head on over to Uvalde County. For now, I'm just gonna hang out in this giant Texas-sized chair. See y'all later, y'all. Make a difference by visiting the link below and make sure to tell them Yellow Texas sent you. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So I think everyone can agree that Texas is a beautiful state and part of what makes it so beautiful are those gorgeous wildflowers. Now you may first think of the blue bonnet, but that's not what we're here for today. In fact, there's a place right in the hill country that for one week in a year is completely dedicated to another popular flower, the lavender. All right, so we made it out here to Blanco for the annual Lavender Festival, and I have to tell you, it smells absolutely incredible. And I also have to admit, I've never experienced something quite like this, so let's make our way around. Located off the banks of beautiful Blanco River, this weekend long festival is a sweet-smelling, lavender-loving marketplace with unique crafts and delicious food. And to get the lowdown, we met up with Beth Patterson. 
Lavender is the theme, so any particular things that we need to try when we go out there that have lavender in it? Well, you definitely want to try the lavender ice cream. Okay. The lavender lemonade, which is made correctly, not according to the directions on the internet. Okay. It is made correctly, and they'll explain. <laughs> there's lavender iced tea. Uh, there's lavender Lizzie, which is a concentrated mix that you can buy for cocktails. Okay. Um, those are just some of the things. And then all of the Texas Lavender Association uh, booths, which are our members who are not necessarily farms in this location, have every kind of product from skincare products to lavender and your sachets you can take home. But that's not the, the only thing you can't. There's potters, there's jewelry, there's uh, amazing plants out there. So we really have a lot, they've worked very hard to get a nice variety. The scent and flavor of lavender is wonderful, and an added bonus comes from its wide range of health benefits. This plant has the ability to relieve stress, improve mood, reduce inflammation, promote restful sleep, and the list goes on. And then we also have the bug spray, which we actually just won an award for. Oh! Uh, mainly because like, not only do they repel for a few hours, uh, they're also going to relieve any insect bites, too. Made right here in Blanco, Texas. Lavender is also used in skin and beauty products, and here at the festival, step-by-step -step demonstrations are hosted by the pros so folks can create these minty goods at home. First, we want to just stick blend this for just a little bit. Now that we have that done, next step, add the lice lotion. Now at this point, we're going to add the lavender essential oil, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Feel the texture. You want that soil, when you're done, is to run through your finger, okay? Dig a hole. Next thing, you're gonna put in your dry ingredients. Okay. Take your plant out of there, and then you're gonna tickle it. And then plop that puppy down. So lavender thrives in full sun, which makes it a great drought-tolerant flower. And in a place like this, it's no wonder why Blanco is considered the lavender capital of Texas. All right, that's going to do it for us here at the Lavender Festival. We saw, smell, and tasted some incredible things that use lavender. Who knew all of this can come from a sweet-smelling plant? We're going to walk around some more. We'll see y'all later. It's never too early to start planning for next year, so visit BlancoLavenderFest.com for more information. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. Before you head out to explore Texas for yourself, we have one more destination just for you. And this time we dispatched Ariel to Austin to get a workout like she's never had before. And let's just say, it literally rocks. If you're like me, you're always looking for something new to add to your workout, something challenging, but also add a little fun. And that's what brings me here to Austin Rock Gym. I'm gonna learn to rock climb for the first time. Welcome to Austin Rock Gym, an Austin institution for experienced and first-time climbers alike to hone their skills and get a totally different kind of workout. Um, Austin Rock Gym um, is a place to learn how to climb. And um, we assume that everybody's going to be outside at some point. So everything kind of funnels into that. Okay, so what are the main focuses that y'all hone on here, that y'all do? Uh, we focus mostly on teaching. We have a lot of variety of classes, um, starting all the way um, as young as four and up to the 80s, I guess. But um, there's intro classes on how to learn, and there's more advanced classes, um, how to lead climb, uh, maybe building anchors, maybe self-rescue, th things like that. All of these skills will, will get somebody prepped for outdoors, make sure they're having a safe session. And um, we can take somebody all the way up to learning how to be a professional guide. All right. And I'm ready. Are so you ready? I'm ready. Let's do All it. Alright. So what I'd like you to do when you fall okay. is uh, we're going to land and then roll back. Okay. So let me show you. Alright, let me get over here. Out of the way. There's okay, one behind clear you. Clear and that's all you got to do. Here we go. Right. Feet first, right? Feet first, crumple, roll. There, way better. 
Next, Troy gave us a quick lesson in the basics. So now I'd like you to just climb up as high as you feel comfortable and then <laughs> climb all the way back down, nice and easy. And I'm down. And after that, it was up, up, and away. Okay, so I wouldn't be qualifying for the Olympic climbing team anytime soon, but as the day went on, I got better and better, and I definitely was getting a workout. That's way harder. <laughs> My legs are shaky. Very good. Plus, Austin Rock Gym has core and yoga classes, and Troy took me through a couple of exercises climbers do to better their skills when they're not on the wall. Now that we've been working hard climbing, we're going to give some attention to the other muscles we haven't worked. Is it really, really works those stabilization muscles that we really need in climbing? Because you'll be holding on and you're going to reach. Far and this hands off and this hands doing all the work. And so we can do a lot of things here. You know, you can work one hand out and start simulating these. Try the other hand. Reach as far as you can. Nice. That helped. Cool. All right, we'll stop Why there. All right, that does it for me here at Austin Rock Gym. Huge thanks to Troy for showing me around the facility and showing me how it's done. If you're ever in Austin, you gotta check it out if you're up for the challenge and you're ready to rock climb. I'm gonna leave it up to the pro for now. See y'all later. Interested in pushing the limits and climbing to new heights? Visit their website at austinrockgym.com. All right, that is all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next week.